Good morning. It's the 27th of October. The sun is out. The summer has just arrived. Now, 22 years ago, I gave up with my three iron and I put in a seven wood. I never looked back. I was never really fast enough or strong enough to fly to a three iron properly. And uh, that eventually morphed into a three hybrid. Again, never looked back. Enjoy the slightly lower flight because the seven wood can balloon occasionally and if it's into the wind it's going nowhere. But I've been hanging on to my four iron for a very very long time. Uh, I don't know if that's a bit of an ego thing. Certainly on my good days I can hit a four iron very well. But how often do you have those really good days when you're striking it perfectly? So after three or four years of umming and ahhing I've taken the plunge. I got a four hybrid. 22 degree. It, it looks a bit like this. It looks, well, like a four hybrid, really. It's a Mizuno STZ 230. It is last year's model and it's brand new, still in the wrappers. Shaft is a Ling hybrid shaft, 75 gram regular right up my alley. Now I didn't buy this blind, I have done some testing and because I've done the testing I know this is designed specifically to fit in the top of a set of strong lofted irons. So even though it's 22 degrees it comes out a bit lower with less spin and goes further which is no good for my set of irons because this will bump into where, how far my three hybrid goes, but it's adjustable. So that means I can turn this to 24 degrees and get that higher flight and the distance I want. They don't send you a key these days, so fortunately I've got my key or torque wrench, whatever you want to call it. Now because it's last year's model, they're kind of like knocking these out very cheap at the moment. And because they're very cheap, I replaced my three hybrid as well, which was looking very tired. A bit like myself looking very tired. So what I need to do now is to tune these in so that this goes further than the five iron, uh, but doesn't bump into the three hybrid and the three hybrid doesn't bump into the five wood you know I want these to go a specific distance so to to have them going lower with less spin and longer is is of absolutely no use to me and I know the perfect hole that I can use to actually fiddle with the lofts on these golf course is quiet today so I should have a little time initially I'm going to set this at 24 and I'm going to set this at 21 and it might only require one hit, decent hit out the middle to say, yep, that's right, or that's wrong. See you out in the course. Right, I am on the par 3 fifth. I set myself up at 175 yards. I've increased the exposure of this too much because it's a bit pale. So the plan is very simple. If I've set up the four hybrid correctly, it should come up a little bit short if I hit a good one. And if I've set up the three hybrid correctly, it should get on if I hit a good one. If I don't hit a good one, well, we're not learning anything. But I, I expect I will have to tweak these over time by a degree here or a degree there. And of course it's cold, it's 10 degrees. Golf balls don't work underneath, under um, 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. So they're not gonna fly anyway, but we'll give it a go. Let's see if I can actually find the middle of the bat. All right, so this is 175, playing about a club uphill, and it's a cold golf ball. And that was pretty poor. That was just shoved out to the right, and it came up short. So let's try it again. That's gone very high. It's gone higher than I was expecting. And we've landed about two yards short of the putting surface. 
So now the three hybrid which I've got set at 21 and I'm expecting this to actually carry onto the green. I say I'm not swinging particularly well so it's very difficult to get the most out of these clubs at the moment but you never know your luck. And that one is rather nicely hit. Two poor shots with the four hybrid. Second one was a fraction better. Brilliant shot with the three hybrid. Pitched it on full toss. I was hoping to record quite a few shots out on the course, but in the end, um, the course did busy up. There was a lot of two balls and one balls, and I just had to keep moving. 17th tee and I have reset the lofts back to 19 and 22. That's the four. The height of it was better. And it's gone very well. So here's the three now at 19 degrees, i.e. standard. Well, that's a bit to the right and I know why. Right, let's get one thing straight. A hybrid is not going to help a really bad golf swing. No club can help a really bad golf swing but if you're a little bit not quite at your best you'll certainly get a little bit of help from a hybrid over a long iron. And by god don't I need some help right now. Now I uh, surprise surprise hitting balls off a mat in a studio has given me the wrong impression about how these things fly. Who would have guessed eh? So I've reset them to 19 degrees and 22 degrees. The thing I do want to change is this. I don't know why, but Mizuno started putting on these Lamkin 60 round grips. And I've got dinky little ladies hands and very short fingers. So uh, at £9.50 a go, I shall be giving these to James and saying, um, can you put me on some 58 round of my favourite Golf Pride Tour Velvets. That's the only change I'm going to make. Ta-ra! Oh, by the way, this, this isn't an advert for this club. This is an advert for what I've got in my golf bag and why. Having said that, last year's model, new in the wrapper, if you search around, they're going quite cheap. Ta-ra!